Hi, I'm Tim, the Woodworking Maniac, and today I actually insulated my garage doors. This is actually the only portion of my shop that was not insulated. Now, I have that luxury, and this is actually not too common for a lot of garages, but your garage may not be insulated, but those metal garage doors are super, super inefficient. Your walls of your garage might actually be a little bit more efficient than the metal garage doors, and you'd be surprised how much of a, a benefit that just insulating your garage doors will have an effect on your garage. Now the winter is approaching very soon and it's going to get cold and you may not want to get out in your garage or you may be heating your garage as it is and you may still have garage doors like this and you may be using a lot of heat for that. This was actually very easy to do and it was rather inexpensive. It didn't cost that much. Matter of fact, I have two garage doors. I have a two car garage, but they're two one car garage doors. Uh, and I had to buy two kits to do so. But the kits were like 60 bucks a piece shipped to my door. It wasn't much and it will pay off this first year, no problem. So they're really easy to do. Let me show you how I did it. The kit comes with eight panels, and the panels have a plastic coating on the outside that you actually see, and the inside is all styrofoam with slots cut into it so you can actually bend the panels into place. Very few tools needed for this job, only need a tape measure, straight edge, and a razor blade. So all I needed to do was measure off in between the support beams and also what would be tucked in behind the support beam. And then with a straight edge, I actually cut most of the way through with my razor blade and then broke off the rest of the way through. The screws used to assemble my garage door were a little bit long so I had to actually remove them just a little bit so I can actually put the smaller piece of styrofoam in behind the support beam. And then I just tightened them up and, and ended up keeping that piece of styrofoam back there very very well. Now for the rest of the styrofoam all I had to do was tuck it in down in the bottom piece and then bend it just slightly. Now that's where those little slits in the bottom portion of it come into play. It allows you to actually bend the whole panel and then tuck it back into the top and then push it into place. With that it ends up with a nice seamless look. Like I said in the beginning very quick very simple. It only took me maybe about an hour and a half for the entire job for both garage doors, and it's going to pay off in my first heating bill just in this first year. So I appreciate you watching the video. God bless.